today I'm going to be showing you how to start a fire in the winter time. First step, you want to go and try and find some dry fire starter. I'm using this stuff, I think it's called witch's beard or something, and it works really good to start a fire, but make sure it's dry. So I'm going to collect a bundle of this and I'll be back when I'm done. I've collected a good amount of this stuff and now we need something to light it. So I'm going to get some birch bark. It depends where you live. So if you don't have that, if you don't have this stuff there, you can just try and find something dry and that'll light easy. You can just see some birch bark in here too. Well, this is birch bark. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of it. And this should help me start my fire. So I've laid out the things, some of the things we need here. So we got this, this witch's beard stuff. We have some birch bark. So now we need some, some wood to keep our fire going. So I'm gonna go find some of that and I'll be right I think I've found the wood I'm gonna use. This is some like dry willow, I think. And I think it'll work good. So I'm going to collect a little bit of this and I'll be back when I'm done. I collected a lot of this dry stuff and the reason you can tell it's dry is because it breaks really easily. Like that. So I broke a couple big branches off and now I'm going to break them into smaller pieces because you can't, you can't burn it like this. So I'll be back when that's done. I've broken up all of my wood into small pieces like this. And to start my fire, I'm using matches, but you can use any kind of fire starting technique that'll work for you. My dog also came to say hi too. <laughs> Sugar. You gonna help start the fire? Yeah? Okay, so now that, now that we have all the materials we need to start the fire, we need to figure out a spot to make our fire. So I'm gonna clear out a spot in the ground so there's just ground and there's no snow because the snow won't help the fire at all. So I'll be back when okay, that's So done. I have an area cleared out where I'm gonna make my fire. Now I'm gonna break my birch bark into smaller pieces so it'll be easier to light and it'll burn better too. So I've broken my birch bark into smaller pieces and I've placed it in the middle of my fire pit. And now I'm gonna take this stuff and I'm gonna lay a little bit of it on top, making sure that I can still see the birch bark so I can light it. You don't have to use all of it if you have too much. Sorry about my dog barking in the background. Make sure the birch bark is right underneath all of the fire starter. And now that we have all the fire starter placed on top of the birch bark in our fire pit, we're gonna take some of the small sticks that we broken up earlier, we're gonna place them on top in a crossing pattern. So the fire can still have air, because without air a fire cannot burn. You want to start off with putting the small sticks on top first and then as your fire gets bigger you want to put the big ones on to keep it going. Also make sure you, you collect all your materials to start your fire before you light it because you don't want to go and get materials while your fire is burning and come back to have it gone out. So I'm going to finish putting these sticks on top of it and I'll be back when I'm done. So as you can see I've placed all of the smaller sticks I have on top of the big bundle and then my birch bark under there so I can still get to it and light it. And all I have left is these big sticks. So now we're ready to light the fire. Okay, So I've got my matches here I'm only going to try and use one match. So now I'm going to go and light the birch bark first. 
underneath of all the fire. The birch bark is going to light up underneath and light the witch's beard fire starter on top and then it'll light all the big sticks. Make sure all the birch bark catches fire. Birch bark burns really good, even when it's wet or when it's dry. There will be a lot of smoke, so try not to breathe it in, because it's not good for you, and it'll hurt your mouth and nose. As you can see now, over birch bark, it's starting to catch fire underneath there, and it's starting to catch fire on top too. Now, I think I can grab some of my bigger sticks here that I saved for now, and I can lay them on top. They're from the same pattern that I did with the smaller sticks. Try not to put too much on at one time too, because that'll strain the fire and the fire might go out. Make sure that you're also putting enough on so that it doesn't go out too. Now you can see our fire is burning well, and once you, once all the wood catches fire more, you can cook things on this. Like if you're lost in the bush and you need something to eat, you can cook fish or meat or meat or something on this. And I'll check in with you when it's done, or when I have it, when I have all the wood. So now I have most of all my big sticks on, and I hope this helped you. And just make sure you keep the fire going from now on until you're not using it. And when you're done using it, make sure you put it out so it doesn't start a forest fire. I hope this helped again, and bye!